Hello everyone. If you're here, then it means you're interested in collecting data from a vibratory system. In our lab, I want you to uh, record acceleration data from the ECP model 210, which is a rectilinear system. But I will demonstrate data collection, not using ECP model 210, but one of our 3D printed and portable laboratory equipment, which is also single degree of freedom and vibratory. So how do we really collect data from system? There are so many ways, but in our lab, I want you to collect acceleration data. So how can we collect acceleration from a system? You need an accelerometer. So it, depending on your budget, let's say you have a really low budget here, and then you can actually purchase ADXL type. ADXL, for example, I'm using 335 accelerometer. In that case, you can actually connect this, you know, with, by wiring to Arduino, and collect data from Arduino Sketch or MATLAB or NI Signal Express. But you can actually use USB type NI data acquisition card. This is relatively low cost, not from Arduino, but relatively low cost compared to this type of USB type NI data acquisition card. In our lab, I want you to use today for this lab, I want you to use NI data acquisition card. Then it means for data collection, I'm gonna just unattach those for now. Please, first of all, we don't need the ADXL accelerometer. And although my system has already attached the accelerometer here, I won't be using it. So, there are two types of accelerometers that will be provided to you in the lab. One of them is the uniaxial accelerometer. This is PCB type accelerometer, which can be connected to just single cable because you're only reading acceleration in one direction. The second type is a three dimensional uh, uh, triaxial accelerometer that allows you to collect data, acceleration data, uh, in X, Y, and Z directions. So you need to be very careful reading the directions on one side of uh, the accelerometer. So let me use triaxial accelerometer today. What I need to do is I'm reading, I hope you can see this, I can, I can just look at the coordinate system to be able to connect, uh, to be able to uh, attach the correct pin to my data acquisition card. So the system is oscillating in this direction. So let's say I want to record data in the X direction. So this position should be aligned with the X direction. So how am I going to connect my accelerometer to my system? Same for your ECP model as well. You can use a double-sided tape. So I attached some part of a double-sided tape on this axis. Then for x-axis should be pointing in that direction. I will attach my accelerometer. And you see it's, it's firmly attached, not moving. So what I will do next, because we have a triaxial accelerometer, you, you shouldn't be using just one cable here, but the cable with three outputs. And I should be very, very careful with the direction. The very first thing I will, let me take this out, take, take it off. The very first thing, guys, this is like a snug fit. So please just gently push it down and then rotate this golden piece so it will be uh, connected firmly and then remember I'm reading data from this axis and it should point my x direction you don't need to limit yourself to x you can actually read from z but then be careful if you're reading from z direction please connect the z output to your data acquisition card because I'm reading from x we have x y and z I will be collect connecting x to my data acquisition card which has one two three and four inputs. So I'm going to connect it to channel zero. This is my channel zero. And it should be not Y, but it should be X axis. Then on the side screen, you will see how I'll be collecting data. But it's also very important to look at the data spec sheet. Because in the X direction from the manufacturer, it tells me that the sensitivity is 10.12 millivolts per G. The second thing is connecting the data acquisition card to your computer. So I will just first connect the cable to the data acquisition card. Then I will connect it to my laptop, but you will be using uh, desktops here. After this, 
I am recording this through Kaltura. I have you to see my screen on the right side. Now, please open NI Civil Express. So I'm opening NI Civil Express right now. And once you see the NI Civil Express app, please click on Empty Signal Express Project. Then, I will expand this. Click on Add Step, Acquire Signals from Data Acquisition Card, it's an analog input. We are reading acceleration, so please click on acceleration and then select IEPE. Because I connected my accelerometer, remember tri -axle accelerometer to channel zero, I will only click on channel zero. If you had multiple sensors connected to your system, then you can actually, you will have more channels connected and in that case, you can select to say channel one, channel two, and channel three. I'm sorry, channel zero, channel one, and channel two. But today I'm only reading from one channel, so I only selected channel zero. Just click OK after. Now we have to adjust these uh, settings here. Your minimum value will be zero and the maximum will be 10. And the sensitivity, let me double check one more time. In the X direction, the sensitivity is from the, again, data spec sheet, it's 10.12, 10.12 millivolts per G, so the unit is correct. Samples to read is 2K, you, can, you might want to change the rate to also 2K. Once you're done with settings, you cannot close this, but you can scroll the menu down. And before you record any data, before you click on record, I recommend you to just click on run first to see if you're really connected. I hope you also heard the click sound. I heard it. That means uh, the data acquisition card is connected to your sensor. Now I'm waiting for the signal to settle. Once I see some, you know, noise, this is right now noise only because I'm, I'm not moving the system. Let me double check. So I will displace my card my slider and release and from here and you will also see on the right side it's pure oscillation I was able to record data nicely so I will stop and it means I'm recording data from the system what you need to do is click on the record click on this plus sign here there's like a drop down menu and select your channel because I already have one channel I could actually select the very first box as well click on OK but here I will first displace it. I displaced it before I click on OK. Once I click on OK, I will just release the card and after three, four seconds, I will stop recording. Then you're gonna um, switch from monitor record to playback. First, just click on playback. And then on this bottom left corner, click on the logs always make sure to check the time the most updated time for your final or the last data i will click on this plus sign and the acceleration data is recorded from channel zero i will bring this data to the window to the display just to make sure this data looks correct i want to run it so this looks correct to me if you're happy with your data that you don't need to record again Please highlight this bar and then export it to an Excel file. Once you export this to an Excel file, just you know, on the Excel sheet, please change the name, for example, to Triaxel or Acceleration Data from Translational System. And if you keep recording more data, please do not uh, close your Excel file. For example, if I go back, to monitor to be able to record another data from the system then it means let's say you also attach the uniaxial accelerometer to your system and recording two acceleration data at the same time then it means you will have not just one channel channel zero but it will be also channel one but if you want to record another data from the same system please go back to monitor record again and then click on record it's already selected, so if you're happy, just keep it this keep it the same way. 
Displace the card, first click on OK, and then release. Three, four seconds of data recording will be enough. Just stop it and then switch to playback. Now I'm ready to actually select the data itself because my second data recording. So please do not just select the bolded one. Instead, look at the time. So this looks like it's the, the last data. So I click on the data. Here is my second data. This bar is already highlighted. I want to export this to Excel. It will be exported into the same Excel file, but you see it's, it's in a new sheet. So please go ahead and just say, this is my second data, ACC translational, let's say, uh, two. This could be another accelerometer. This could be from another system as well. But this is how you will be collecting data using PCB type accelerometer. Doesn't matter, uni-axel or tri-axel. Uh, just connecting it to the data acquisition card, knowing which channel is connected and knowing which direction is connected and putting the settings correctly and exporting data after recording. I hope this helps.